Smart locks are great, but when you really think about it, a smart doorknob might be a better option, at least for most people. Traditional smart locks can be bulky and cumbersome, and a little annoying to use at times. That, however, is what the Thorbolt MK1 hopes to solve. The MK1 has a sleek and modern design, a fingerprint sensor built straight into it, and modern connectivity options. Here's a deeper look. Thanks to Thorbolt for sponsoring this video. The first thing you'll notice about the Thorbolt MK1 is its design. It's sleek and stylish and comes in multiple colors, and I've been testing the black and the titanium models. Both of them look great, and the different colors means that you can pick one that best suits the aesthetic of your door or your home in general. Installation of the lock is very simple too. Now, admittedly, I have experience installing smart locks, so I was probably able to install it quicker than most. But when I installed it, I could do so in only around five minutes. I think most people will be able to install it in less than 15 minutes. You can install it yourself really easily, and there's no need to hire a locksmith or anything like that. The build quality of the doorknob is excellent. The shape might seem a little awkward to those who are used to globe-shaped doorknobs, but I got used to it really quickly and found that it made it easy to grasp and easy to turn the doorknob. Once it's installed, you'll add it to the app and you'll find out how functional it really is. As mentioned, the lock has a fingerprint sensor on the top of it, which means that it's really easy to unlock your door simply by grasping the doorknob itself. Basically, you can unlock your door and open it in one motion without having to access different pin pads or pull out your phone. The fingerprint sensor built into the doorknob was responsive and accurate, and it worked very well. Alongside the fingerprint sensor is a little LED light that indicates that the door has been locked or unlocked. On top of the fingerprint sensor, there are other ways to unlock the doorknob too though. As you can see, there's a pin pad on the front of the doorknob, which is clicky and easy to use. This is perfect for guest codes. For example, if you want a guest to be able to unlock your door, but don't want to have to set up a new fingerprint sensor in the app. Set up a guest code and the guest will be able to punch it in and unlock the door. Then if you want, you can remove the guest code so they don't have access anymore. That said, if you do want to add many fingerprints, you can. The doorknob can store up to 100 fingerprints and 100 pin codes, so you should have no problem with the storage in the device. On top of the fingerprint sensor and the pin pad, there's a little rubber door on the bottom of the doorknob, which hides a keyhole. That's right, you can unlock the device with a good old key, which is perfect for if you happen to run out of battery. That said, also hidden under there is a little USB-C port, and you'll be able to plug in an external battery and unlock your door with the fingerprint or pin code. Basically, if it happens to run out of battery, you'll still be able to unlock your door. Of course, battery life isn't much of a concern though. The device lasts up to a year on four AA batteries, and when it starts to run out, you can simply swap those batteries out for another year of use. You'll get notified when the battery is running low so you can swap them out. But again, if you do happen to run out of battery, you'll still be able to open the door. Of course, we've gone over the physical ways to unlock the door, but there are digital ways as well. The doorknob connects to the Sleekpoint app, which is easy to use and well designed. Through the app, of course, you'll be able to lock and unlock the door, set up fingerprints and pin codes and more. You'll also be able to set up auto lock settings and see a history of locking and unlocking. Auto lock is particularly helpful. Once it's set up, all you have to do is close the door and it'll lock itself within a few seconds or minutes, depending on the settings you choose. You might think that that could be annoying if you're, for example, trying to unpack your car, but there's a passage mode built into the doorknob that gets around this. Simply hold the enter key for five seconds after entering your pin code and the door will stay unlocked until you disable passage mode. It's super handy for when you want to come in and out as needed. Even though the sleek point app works great, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, as the lock even works with HomeKit. It's very easy to set up with HomeKit with the QR code on the doorknob itself, and once you do so, you'll be able to lock it and unlock it through the Apple Home app. And it has thread built into it, so it can participate in your smart home's mesh network for more responsiveness. Basically, the Thorbolt MK1 is perfect for anyone who wants a more simple smart lock setup. It's well built and made from high quality materials, super versatile in how you can lock and unlock it, and it works with Apple Home. Plus, it's relatively inexpensive. You can get the Thorbolt MK1 for yourself straight through the link in the description.